What's up guys, Baba Tsuno Montao here. So if you have your MacBook, it wakes up like this and you just see that the cursor is acting like I'm holding something pressed down, like I'm holding the cursor pressed down. I try to open up this video clip and the cursor is moving here and there. instead of it dropping it, it's not dropping it. So here is what I think you should do. Normally, I would suggest you first restart it by press holding the power button, but I've done this several times. I've restarted multiple times, but it kept coming back. So here is what I would suggest you do. The first thing is to do a proper shutdown, not just first restart, proper shutdown. How do you do that? You have to press hold the power button and you can see it's locked. Lock screen is going. Keep press holding and you can let it go. Now you can see it is blackout and once it is blackout, then you can leave it for 30 seconds and come back and switch it on or power it on. This will help the M1 MacBook to automatically reset the SMC, which handles things like the power, the sleep and the trackpad. Okay, so we're going to do that right now. Now it is 30 seconds, so I'm going to turn it on and let's see if this guy is coming up. So we can see the Apple logo and let's wait for it to load up completely. It's up. Now I'm going to input my password and let's see. Okay, it's back and I'm going to try moving something outside. Okay. So if you have done the proper shutdown and this guy still freezes, I mean the cursor still freezes, here is what you have to do. The step two is to use the save mode. Shut down your Mac by press holding this power button until you see loading startup options. Now you click on the drive and hold the shift and you continue. So I'm going to show you that. As you can see, mine is working already. So let me quickly show you how to do that. Now press hold the power button for a few seconds till you see the blast screen. And quickly press hold the power button again till you see loading starting options. Then you see the Apple logo. Now you can release. Now when it comes to this loading startup options, you can see Macintosh and the um, options. So you are going to click on your drive and hold shift. I'm using one hand for the microphone and you are going to select the continue option button till you see the Apple logo. So let's wait for it. All right. And it's loading up. You can see the Apple logo. So just wait for it. Now you can log in. So you log in with your details as in your password. And this should help you to fix your cursor freezing. As you can see, mine is working now. Okay, these are the things that I open up, the folders that I open up initially, and it is working perfectly well. So if that helps, then you are good to go. You can keep using your computer. The next step to take if you are still experiencing your cursor freezing up is to create a new user. Now, normally you have to go to your settings and do that. I have a new user here. So just go to your settings quickly and create a new user. And I'm going to use my new user as you can see here. So I'm going to input my password for my new user and it's going to come up. Now in this new user profile, all you have to do is to just surf around and see if it's going to freeze your cursor again if the system is going to freeze your cursor or you're going to experience that issue again at at this moment i don't think it's going to even freeze at all i don't think so and at this point if your cursor is still freezing when you are working then i think the last result is to reinstall mac os there won't be any data loss all you have to do is to just shut it down and you know let it get to the loading startup option. That is, you press hold it till it blacks out and release and quickly press hold the power button again. And you're going to see loading startup options. Once you get there, select the continue and select reinstall Mac OS and give it time to do its thing, to fix anything that has gone wrong. Even if it's an hub that is causing that cursor to freeze up, it's going to clear all the stuff for you. 
you are not going to lose any data or files at all. Just do that and that should fix your MacBook.